All right, so <laughs> this is my dining room table. Um, so what happened is I went to three different um, like bookstores. Um, well, two were technically bookstores, and then one was a thrift store. And then one was the library. Actually, so I went to four because I also did the library section. Um, and I was trying to find three books that we needed for our school this year. And yeah, I kind of went away with this. Um, so I'm actually going to go over here. This is from the Dollar Tree. I actually got this a couple days ago. These are what I'm going to be using for this summer and this fall with our um, homeschool curriculum. Again, this is a lot of just busy work for the almost three-year-old and four-year-old. So these are just all a dollar. And these will be really good for them. Um, I think this is another one. Yeah, letter sounds. Um, so there was that. I also got this one for my daughter to kind of um, just do some work since... Um, Part of her summer school is to memorize the multiplication facts, and so this was just something I thought would be kind of a good addition to. Um, and then I found that one. It's just a game for a dollar, so I picked that up. And then let's see these right here. So there's learn to draw dinosaurs. Um, this little activity book this little sticker wild book and then these three um, coloring books that so all these right here this is just hands work oops this one too these are just like hands work busy work that I'm going to give to them that they can do while I'm doing our literature read alouds so that's why I picked those up um, and then I saw the price on these. I got these from the Dollar Tree, and they are originally like $4 a piece, so really excited about that. So that was about, I think, $14 at the Dollar Tree for this summer and this fall. Um, I had a gift card. Okay, let's try to get this finished. Okay, so this next door that I went to, um, I had a gift card for that I had received for my birthday. And so, um, I will try to figure out the cost that I paid after my gift card. Um, but I picked up these. These are just, it was a little pocket. There's just little prayer cards in here and Bible verses. So I picked that up. Um, this was another book that I picked up. It looked really good. Um, actually, this one I got off of Amazon. And I just put that in with my um my haul here and this was another one at the bookstore and this one this one looked really good it's a classic and I'm really excited about this one and then I had my two girls with me and they wanted this so we got that one and then our local Christian bookstore has like a used book section that you can bring books in and then you know buy used books so these were the used books um i do have this one but i'm constantly loaning mine out and this is not one this is one that i think i'd like to have and that way if i never get it back i have a backup copy um this is one that i've had on my kindle to read for so long but i prefer hard copies so for i think it was like two dollars so i picked that up to read this is one of my favorites. Um, if you, if I could, you know, recommend any book in the world to somebody, it would definitely be this one. I love this book, and um, I'm constantly giving my copies away. Um, and this was another one that I wanted to have, and then looks like got to take a wipe to that. It looks like someone's chocolate got on there. But um, this is one that I'm constantly loaning out, and then needing to get back. So I'm really excited about those. And that was about, they're about $2 a piece. So about $8 for those. So that was a really good find. And then, so the, both of these stacks are from the local Christian bookstore. And then from there we went to our local secondhand bookstore. Um, trying to think, cause some of these, 
I think are kind of mushy into what I found at the the thrift store. Um, so this was one from the second hand bookstore. I picked this up for my four year old. He's really into sharks right now, especially after seeing the Bethany Hamilton Soul Surfer movie. Um, so I thought this would be, you know, really fun for him, and I think he's going to enjoy it. Um, this was one of my favorite movies growing up with Gary Cooper, and I just was so, so excited to, um, find this, and I don't think it's ever been read, so that was really exciting. Um, my daughter picked this one up, she hadn't read that, and she really wanted to read it, and of course, when your kids ask for books to read, you're like, heck yeah. This is for my son, he's going to be reading this this summer and then I will actually do another um, a video about the homeschooling uh, books that I'm you know literature reading that I'm requiring for the summer as well as what I have planned for the fall. Um, this was another one that I picked up um, at the bookstore. This is one that I thought I had but I don't or I can't find it and uh, my daughter needs to read that this fall. This was one that um, my we have like all of them except the first one. So my daughter found that and she wanted that. I'm gonna have to pause here for a minute. Okay, dinner's stirred. Okay, um, so we're still on. I think the oh, you know what these were? I know what these were. Okay, I'll figure that one out in a minute. Um, this was another one from the second hand bookstore, and this one. And this one, and this one, and this is another one that we needed for literature this year. I have Pollyanna Grows Up, but I didn't have Pollyanna. And then this one is actually one that I'm going to be returning. And I'm going to, what, what you can do is you can return it for other books there. You can't actually get your money back. Um, but we are very, I looked over this like so many times trying to make sure that it was a clean one for my kids in the store I'm not telling you like three or four times and then there was a picture in here that um, yeah we don't need that so I'm gonna see if they'll exchange it there was a Lego book there that I thought would be really good for my son and I'll probably save it for his birthday so this one I'm gonna be exchanging so that was the used or the well, it's a, used, it's a bookstore, so you've got the used selection and the new selection. And then these um, were from the library, the ones with the yellow circles on them. So I need to make sure that um, I have, I'm trying to make sure that I've got all the ones that were from the library. I think, yeah, there wasn't, there wasn't too many. I think there was a couple others. Maybe this one. Maybe this one right here. I'll bet this is one. Um, and I think there was one more. Um, oh, I know what it was. Okay, so I picked up a couple other books for um, a friend of ours, and I think that's what the library was. So the library used book section. Um, but there was this one, and this is another one that I need for this coming year. Um, I thought this would go really good with our um, Story of the World. And then this one I thought would go good with our Story of the World curriculum. So that was the library, and, the, and there's our 25 cents each. And then the thrift store. Um, I had this book when I was little. I love this book, and it's like in practically new condition. So this was my, you know, amazing find for the day. Um, this is one that we're going to need for this fall, so I picked it up. I know I have one, but that was just easier. Um, I saw this, and I thought this would be a good one um, to use this fall. I picked this up for my sister for her birthday in a few days. I hope she likes that. Picked this one up. It looked really good. I picked this one up. Again, it looked really 
really good. I, I know I've read something else by her, but I don't remember what. Um, this one, this is a thicker book, but it looked really good. Um, I've actually seen the movie. I've never read the book, though. Um, this one looked good. Um, you know what? I think this was from the library. I don't think this was... Yeah, this was a library book. So, this was one that I actually picked up from the library. Um, and then these I picked up for my son. He just finished James and the Giant Peach, so these will kind of go along with that. Um, they had these for 25 cents each. Um, I think the only book that's missing is book six. And I think there's eight in the series, but for 25 cents each, I picked them up. So that's a series of unfortunate <laughs> events. And then The Bible Smuggler, which is about um, William Tyndale. And, of course, Thumbelina. So, anyway, so that's, you know, the, the four stores. I will put my grand total in here. I know the thrift store was $10. I remember that because it was right on the nose. And then I got a punch in my card. And when you get, like, ten punches, you get, you know, $10 off your next order. Um, I have to look up the the used bookstore, and then I think the um, one from the library was like $1.50 or something like that, maybe $2, I don't remember. So yeah, this is, I'm just really excited. A lot of these we can use for um, our uh, literature reads this fall, and I found some really good ones, and I'm really, really excited with what happened here and then like I said I'll do, be doing another video that really shows um, kind of what we're planning for the summer and what we'll be doing in so far as this fall so stay tuned for that all right I have another like book haul to share with you I think I'm all done with buying what I want need maybe I should say need for our school this year and I will of course be sharing that in um, what we're doing for this year for curriculum um, but I'm just going to kind of quickly I did an Amazon order a CBD order and an EduSense order and so I'm just going to quickly share that um, I got this one my daughter's starting to learn multiplication and I really 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 love these series I can't stress them enough um, I think I have his grapes and math that I shared in a you know homeschool favorites and I just got this one off of Amazon um, my sister got a ton of um, six of these books for the kids for reading through the summer and they've like inhaled them within two weeks and so I picked up a few more um, because they requested them my son wanted this one and we got this one we got this one and we got this one Oh, and one more. And we got this one. So I picked those five who was series. Um, I have to say I haven't read them first to kind of go through them and kind of monitor them. Um, but I have to say I, from what I've heard from other homeschooling moms, they are very, sorry, they are very... Um, I can't think of the word. Highly recommended. So, anyway. Um, this is, I'm putting together my reading list for my son that I want him to do this summer and this fall. And um, this was on a recommended reading list. So I picked these up. I don't know if it was a Charlotte Mason reading list or just another one that I thought, my son is eight. And um, I've been kind of giving him fifth grade stuff to read. And so I thought these might be like more his grade level. And so I don't want to push him too far um, or too hard, I should say, with reading. So I thought these would be good to kind of um, go over and then, you know, he can tell me what he's read and what he's gathered from them. Because I think that's kind of a problem for him. So we have that. Um, this was another one that I read when I was in school. Um, this was just an easier one for me to 
um, read with Robinson Crusoe. So I picked this one up for my son to read. Um, it was, I think, I believe this one was on the Charlotte Mason reading list as well. This is one that I've been wanting for two years now, and I still keep putting it off. But I did get it this time, because we don't have Amazon Prime, so we have to meet like a certain requirement before we can get our free shipping. And by the time I paid for shipping, I could have paid for this book. So at that point, I was like, well, I'll just get it. Um, this is another book that they are required to read. Um, it's just the Boxcar Children, but I got the first four because I think the, these were $12 for the first four, and one book is either like $5.99. So I just got the first four. I can't, I usually pick these up at thrift stores and yard sales and stuff. And um, I don't, I've, I've never had found book one. So I have that one. So that was Amazon. Um, Christian Liberty. No, um, that's the name of the spelling. Um, Christian Book Distributors um, has the Christian Liberty Press spelling books that we use. And so I got um, book four, which is what my daughter's going to need, and book two, which my son will need. And so I picked those up for fall, and then this is what my son is going to do for fall. He is going to um, be doing botany, and I, I've never had this before. I didn't even know they had one, but I really thought this would be a great way to kind of engage him in because he's more of a hands-on boy and he's not really he's a boy they're like what not really and then for my daughter this I saw in edgy sense and me and my friend decided that we're gonna have our girls do it together they both want to be doctors and nurses so we found like this whole thing that is going to incorporate it and I will go into more detail in our um what we're doing for fall curriculum thing but this is one and it's just a peel and play mini learn set so there's that thought that would be a good activity and then this was the set that I was going to do so there's let me see if I can get the right let's see so these three came as a kit so there's um, the breathtaking respiratory system and I'll just kind of quickly So, and then it's um, Christian oriented, so God's Wondrous Machine. And then this is the Electrifying Nervous System. There is the Teacher's Guide, and then it's broken up to 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. That's the one year anatomy, and it has the weekly lesson schedule which I love worksheets activities and answer keys and so this is all what I get to pass out so we're gonna do that and then with that I found this so it's, I think it's like a timeline of the history of medicine which I was really I thought we should incorporate along so she's gonna do this for science for this um, fall her and her friend and like I said, there's, um, like I have these two books that I put with it, and then we're going to read those with it, but I did not purchase these today. I'm just kind of showing what I purchased. So this was my Edgy Sense order. There you have it. I think we're done. I think I can post this video now.